All right, let's also talk about the slope intercept form of a line. All right, so the slope intercept form is that y equals mx plus b. Uh, what I joke with you guys got beat into your head uh, in high school. All right, so here slope is m and b is our y intercept. All right, so to, again, let's go back to the last two lectures at the beginning of the slide I talked about, or the presentation I talked about uh, linear functions. And we saw that linear functions are in the form f of x equals mx plus b. All right, so slope intercept form is the same thing as how we typically define our linear function. Okay, so let's use it. All right, find the slope and y-intercept of the line with the equation 5x plus 4x plus 5y equals negative 10. All right, what the heck are we supposed to do? Find the slope and y-intercept. Anytime you're asked to find the slope and y-intercept, get your line in slope-intercept form. All right, that's just fancy math talk for solve for y. Get y by itself. Okay, so what am I going to do here? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Or in other words, you'll often hear me say move the 4x to the other side. All right, and then I need to divide, divide every term by 5. Okay, so I get negative 4 over 5x minus 10 over 5, which is just going to be minus 2. And now I'm in the form y equals mx plus b. And I'm able to say, hey, my slope is negative 4 fifths. It's in the m position. And my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Oops. And let's make negative 2. All right, so I'm crossing the y-axis at negative 2. All right, what about this problem where we want to find the equation of the line through these two points? All right, so I'm going to work through this example using slope-intercept form. All right, as we saw in the last lecture, what we have to do first when we don't have slope is find the slope. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is use my y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and I get 5 plus 6, uh, excuse me, 5 plus 1 over 1, which is just going to be 6 as my slope. And now, given my slope is 6, where that came from. My slope is 6, all right, and I'm going to use my point 1, negative 1, all right, to plug in uh, into my y equals mx plus b. So as we saw with point slope form, I have a y and an x, and I'm plugging in a y1, an m, and an x1. Here with slope intercept form, I'm actually taking my point all right, and I'm plugging in the negative 1 for y, all right, the 1 for x, the 6 for the slope, and I'm going to solve for b. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of algebra to solve for b, and I get b is negative 7. All right, so going back to slope-intercept form now, I know my m, my m is 6, my b is negative 7, and that's how I'm going to write the equation of the line y equals 6x minus 7, okay? And we can graph this line, all right? So there's several ways uh, to think about it, and there's not one way that works. There, uh, again, that's what makes math beautiful, is there's a lot of ways to get to the answer, all right? So I have my two points that I'm given, 2 over 5, 2, fit, two 5, and 1, negative 1, all right? Given my y equals mx plus b form here, I'm able to say, well, the y-intercept is negative 7. I could then even use my slope, right, which is 6, so that means I go up 6 and to the right 1 to get another point. All right, again, I can go up 6 over 1 to get a point. All right, so I can use slope and the y-intercept, or I can use the two points I'm given. Either way we look at it, I can certainly draw my line. All right, what I'm giving you guys here, this, this is just a summary table, uh, different forms. All right, so the, the slope-intercept form that we just went over, y equals mx plus b. 
uh, the point slope form from the last lecture where we use uh, a point x1, y1 and the slope m. Okay, and then we also have what's called general form. Uh, you guys have already seen in the, exam the first example in this lecture, uh, I gave you a line in the form ax plus by equals c. Uh, and then we'll also see in um, the intercept lecture where sometimes we're given a uh, general form of a line. But again, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other is my quirky way of saying that we can use any of these three forms. Uh, and you certainly can on the exam.